Everything you do with your phone, literally everything, revolves around your data. Some of the data is collected without you even thinking about it. Your shopping habits, exercise routines, entertainment preferences, it's all there. And it's immensely valuable to the companies that want to sell you something. The only things more valuable are your banking details, your email logins, and your ID numbers. And there are even more people who would love to get their hands on those. So how bad is it? What dangers can befall your phone? Glad you asked. All of them. Your phone can get infected by malware, including all kinds of viruses or spyware that watches you or your personal data or both. Or you can click on a malicious link on a website or in an email and get malware into your system this way. This method is called a phishing attack and we've seen it a thousand times. Yeah. Your device can also get infected with malware via downloading a fake app. Many of those pretend to be normal apps you use but are not real. Others don't even try. Use your phone to see through people's clothes. Yeah, sure. Give access to all of my data to use it? Absolutely. And the nastiest way of getting access to your phone data is getting it from the companies that have it. And then doing that again. And again. Yeah. Let's talk about that later. Now imagine some bad guys got through Android or iOS security and have their hands all over your mobile data. What can they steal and why? The obvious target is, of course, your credentials, login names, passwords, codes, and such. Biometrics data allows them to forge your fingerprints or face recognition. Perfect. Something to spoof two-factor authentication? Even better. With all of this, they can do everything you can with your phone and even more. Banking credentials are an obvious target for instant benefit. Crooks rob you of your life savings and run for it. Or they can transfer your crypto if they get access to your wallet. Other kinds of personal data such as ID, social security, or driver's license numbers can lead to something even worse. Identity fraud. Scammers may take a loan, get a credit card, or cash your checks while pretending to be you. Have fun trying to convince a bank that it's not you who took $10,000 in credit and then bought a bunch of crypto with it. And last but not least, hackers may simply spy on you for their own pleasure. Peeping toms have always been a threat, and sticking cameras on every device in your home simply gave them that many more peepholes. Oh, and they can watch you while trying to get a sneak peek of your credentials too. Combining business with pleasure. Yeah. With all of that, you may wonder, is having all of my life tied to a phone even worth it? Well, like it or not, avoiding that is barely possible today. And just FYI, rejecting technology and going back to paper is not a solution too. Paper is surprisingly easy to forge, steal, or destroy. But you can still avoid a lot of the nastiness by being careful. Because like it or not, when it comes to cybercrime, it takes two to tango. Cyber criminals are only as successful as their victims allow them to be. So a lot, and I mean a lot, of responsibility falls on you and your vigilance. Attention and common sense are your first line of defense. Just think about the links you click, the cookies you accept, the URLs, the senders, and the extensions. Keep in mind that everything you click in a hurry may be dangerous. There are a lot of methods of checking if you got your phone hacked. Try looking for obvious signs, like battery draining too quickly, or unexpectedly heating up, or mysteriously forwarded messages or calls. Turn off sharing your location when you don't need it. And don't use public Wi-Fi without a VPN. There is tons of advice concerning iOS and Android security, and if we wanted to list it all, it would take hours. But if you do all that, if you protect your phone with the best mobile security app, secure everything with passwords and two-factor authentication, never click on any links and don't download any files. There is one more exploit hackers might use. It's companies that you give your data to. It's plain and simple. They can leak your data or get breached by hackers. Your mobile providers, cloud storage services, software manufacturers, all of them are vulnerable to this. And then all the data you entrusted them with will get away, likely to be sold on the dark web to the highest bidder, who will then try to use it to their best ability. Can you really protect your phone from a data leak or a breach? Not really. So in cybersecurity, it really takes three, not two, to tango. It's a very weird tango, what can we say? There are some things you can do with that though. Check if the companies you give your data to have been compromised before. Chances are, they were. What did they do then? Did they try to deny it and bury their head in the sand or did they provide compensation and identity theft protection services? So to sum up, how secure is your phone? 
as secure as you make it to be. The list of dangers to it is endless, but you can do a lot to minimize the risk. Your common sense is your best weapon. Use it and be careful. Constantly ask yourself, is my phone hacked? And act accordingly. That's it for today. Check out our channel for all things cyber, news, tips, reviews, we do it all. And subscribe if you like this content, it helps us a lot. See you in the next video.